All right, today our viewer question is about donating blood. And they've said that, of course, it's a good thing to do, um, but they're wondering if there are any specific health benefits for the donor of the blood. Well, thank you for that wonderful question. And I'm gonna say it's wonderful on several levels here. Uh, as an old anesthetist, as someone who worked in the emergency room on trauma cases, et cetera, thank God for people who donate blood. When the patient has bled out from a traffic accident or a gunshot wound, there is no substitute than hanging a couple of units of whole blood and uh, get, running it in and seeing that blood pressure come up. It's absolutely life-saving. So I can't uh, overestimate the uh, uh, the gift of life that giving blood is, and I would encourage everyone to do it in general. But it turns out that the COVID nineteen pandemic has made people so gun shy of going to a public place and donating blood that blood donations have gone through the floor, and now the the hospitals are critically short of blood. Uh, they're canceling okay. surgeries. They they have no uh, uh, blood for emergencies, and people with blood diseases, leukemias, etc., they need transfusions of packed red cells, and that's not available. So please, so grateful for this question. Uh, just in general, in America in the 21st century, yes, please go, go, please go donate blood. Absolutely. Now, that said, uh, there's benefits in actually doing it. We used to think that people might have a lower incidence of heart attacks and strokes. Why? Because the iron that's in red blood and our friends who eat the standard American diet and eat all, all those rare steaks and eat all red meat, they're eating a tremendous amount of iron. And especially guys and postmenopausal women, we can't get rid of iron. And so it builds up and just like iron will rust in the bumper of your car, it oxidizes in your tissues, including the artery walls. And there's a great concern that uh, that iron overload may lead to increased risk of heart attacks and strokes from artery disease. And so the corollary was, well, then the person who donates blood several times a year and lowers their iron stores, probably going to have healthier arteries and fewer heart attacks. Guess what? Didn't make any difference when they compared the folks giving blood regularly and those didn't, uh, they had the same instance of heart attacks and strokes. Why? Because both groups kept on eating cheeseburgers and buffalo wings and pepperoni peaches and injuring their arteries. Just because one of them gave blood a few times a year, they did not stop the artery assault. Um, if they compared it with plant-based eaters or people eating uh, much more artery healing diets, I suspect they would see a difference. But, but it's clear that just lowering the uh, amount of stored iron in the blood from donations uh, doesn't make you bulletproof against heart attacks or strokes. So the question was, is there any benefit to people in donating blood? Turns out, yes, guess what disease does benefit? The people who donate blood have a significant one third lower incidence of cancers of a number of types. Now, why should that be? Same reason, it turns out that people who have lots of iron in their tissues, it, it damages cells in, in a number of ways, a number of mechanisms, but it makes some tissues more likely to undergo malignant change, uh, especially if a, a carcinogenic chemical comes along, a carcinogenic virus comes along, uh, the person is more likely to sprout out a cancer if their tissues are full of iron. And it turns out that the people who give blood on a regular basis, you know, say three times a year, every four months or so, uh, they have a lower incidence of a number of types of cancers. And again, it's probably uh, reducing that iron overload. So uh, all the way around, give blood. Yes, please do. Uh, your blood bank needs you to do that. Uh, but so does your body probably. And you'll uh, lower your risk of a number of cancers. If you're eating a healthy whole food plant-based diet, you're risk is probably pretty small to begin with, uh, but uh, certainly couldn't hurt uh, to, uh, uh, to become a regular blood donor. And there'd be so many people to benefit uh, on behalf of all the anesthetists out there, trauma patients, leukemia patients, and surgeons who uh, need people uh, to come in and donate blood. Please do that. And we'll all be healthier for it. Thanks a lot for listening to that.
Absolutely. And, and you're right. It was a wonderful question. So thank you to the viewer for that very much. And thank you, Dr. Clapper, for all the information. We'll see everybody next time. Take care. Hi, everyone. Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format for our Q&A with Dr. K. Annie Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.